there, guys. Namaste. This is Jill Loftus of Newt Astrology, and I'd like to introduce you to my fabulous friend, Cheryl. Hi, everybody. Fabulous friend, Cheryl, is from Follow Your Bliss. This is a, a kind of a, um, a jewelry... How, how would you describe your business? It's, um, um, it's so many... So many. It's follow things. your bliss bracelets and follow your bliss essentials. So it's a combination of jewelry, aromatherapy, crystals, singing bowls, and sound healing. So all the essentials in order to find your bliss. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And and she's just got so many gifts and talents. Um, but one of her particular um, gifts is creating just masterful pieces of jewelry with just the best vibes. And so we have teamed up together to create a set of bracelets. Um, and so we're calling these Al uh, Astrology Affirmation Stacks. And so we have a bracelet um, for each sun sign. Really beautiful. With the little um, charm that has the astrology sign, for example, this is the ram, this is Aries, and then also the astrological glyph of the ruler. So here's Mars, right? Absolutely gorgeous pieces of um, pieces of art here. And then we also have these beautiful little moon bracelets. These are created out of seed pearls. Really lovely, um, and they have moon phases on them. In case you happen to know your moon phase. And that represents that lunar energy within yourself. And then we have these gorgeous bracelets that represent your um, your uh, rising sign or ascendant. And then they have a, the little glyph that represents whether it's earth, air, water, or fire. So this one is, which one is this one? This is cancer. So wow. that's going to be the water element yeah. there. Wow. And then on the back, um, there is a little wave on there. So, so beautiful. So yeah. beautiful. And what stone is this? That is gray moonstone. Oh my gosh, for cancer. Right. It's just I mean, you have to see these things in person to really um to really see the depth of beauty of these stones. But um Cheryl selected these stones for the qualities that would embody um your sun or your rising sign because you know, the sun sign and the rising sign is a little bit of different um vibe. For example, Cheryl's a Libra. <laughs> I'm a Libra rising, right? It just it kind of embodies um, a slightly different energy. Um, so we've created also, along with these bracelets, affirmations that so you can kind of charge the stones with your intention. Um, and so with each uh, bracelet comes a little card that gives the affirmation for that particular sign. For example, for uh, a Libra sun sign, I've got balance, elegance, and peace, right? Mm -hmm. So just things that you want to embody. And I love just wearing them. Um, you know, I'm wearing my, uh, my beautiful Taurus. Um, what, you know, what is this gorgeous stone? I don't know. That is, is moss agate. Oh, this stuff is, yeah. I mean, each one of these is just so beautiful. And then I've got my Libra rising and then my moon. And I just love, you know, as I go through my day, I take a look at them and I'm trying to make sure that I embody the highest vibratory state of of who I am the essence of who I am so um I'm gonna work on being a camera person mm -hmm. and try to show you some of these beautiful bracelets okay I'll hold this if you yeah. want yeah. look at this look at these incredible bracelets all right so here's Aries and that is bloodstone bloodstone all right and then again this is the Taurus like I have the moss agate oh beautiful incredible Gemini and that is tiger's eye yeah I just love the kind of like dual nature of this stone too it's just so perfect for Gemini and then here's our cancer which is again the gray moonstone yeah. oh and you we and on the these charms um not only do they have the symbol for the zodiac sign but on the back is the glyph for the ruling planet right, right. absolutely mm -hmm. yep yep and that's also a great kind of reminder for yourself this is the leo yeah citrine we, we are running low on these <laughs> um and they've been one. snapping those up um, yeah those leos like those that bright yellow <laughs> yeah and then here's the beautiful virgo mm -hmm. which is um blue lace agate gorgeous mm -hmm. gorgeous and then we've got our our uh Let's see, this one's a Capricorn, I think. Oh, we We're got out for of place. Scorpio. There they are. They are, yeah, we got them in the wrong place. There we go. No worries. Yeah. No worries. Wow, look at this. So that's um, Black Obsidian. Wow. Uh-huh. Perfect stone for the Scorpios. Yeah, right? <laughs> and these Sagittarius ones are absolutely stunning. And that's Chrysocolla. Okay, with this beautiful little Jupiter glyph. Mm -hmm. Just love that. 
Love that. Yeah, the details are hard to see it's on a video, be, but yeah. in person they're raised and they're just really, really um, quality, high quality. That is our Capricorn, which mm -hmm. is um, Black Onyx. Yeah, beautiful. And then we've got our Aqua people. Wait a minute, we need, don't we need Pisces? Uh, Aquarius first. Oh, Aqu Aquarius first. Up. Yeah, Pisces is last. So here's the Aquarius. I'm still one. learning. Um, so Aquarius stunning. is Chalcedony. Mm -hmm. Stunning. It's just translucent. Mm -hmm. All right. And then finally, yeah, we have our beautiful Pisces, which is um, a light amethyst. Yeah. Just really, gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. And then, yeah, so then for the rising signs, it's the same um, It's the same beads, but they're smaller. Um, and some people, Cheryl was just telling me, some people really vibe with the smaller ones. So, of course, if you're a Gemini sun sign and you prefer this br bracelet with the, um, you know, instead of having the larger kind of uh, pewter looking charm that you prefer this um this little gold charm then you certainly can do that you can mix and match um you know even if you for example you let's say you were going through a difficult saturn transit or something and saturn's in currently in aquarius you might want to pick up the um an aquarius bracelet right pick up pick up that um energy and um and have it to uh to embody right um so it's really whatever you want to do or however you want to um use uh, use the bracelets mm -hmm. and see if we can get a little detail if you can hold that up yeah. a little closer um so you know we do have Our the moon different phase. moon phases too on there that's really hard to see they're so tiny and delicate um but i like to wear mine jill separates hers but i like to wear mine as one big stack um that's my favorite way to wear them yeah i really like i really like just putting my taurus over here with my wooden malas and then having um this you know my moon is in aries and so for me to soften my moon and balance it with my libra energy is a really good idea for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um just going back to the charms for a second so these charms are actually um sterling silver um oh wow so yeah and they're really thick and and then the um these are a gold vermeil um, so the really high quality charms, um, you know, we really spent a lot of time, Jill and I, um, sourcing yeah. out the, the stones Come back up here, and friend. the charms. Um, yeah, because we really wanted to create um, a quality piece of jewelry that is, you know, going to be very wearable. Um, they are on elastic cording, so... Um, you know, easy to wear. There's no clasp. They just slip. And they don't pinch at all. Oh, you know, no. you've oh. sometimes had a bracelet that pinches all the time. Yeah. These don't pinch. Yeah. And all of my bracelets are, you know, I finish them off, um, cover the, the closure and everything. Um, so, you know, easy to wear, yet durable. I do suggest that you take them off if you're swimming um, in the pool or the ocean. Um, because over time, the elastic you know, can wear down. Um, but, you know, I do have um, a, a repair um, service that's complimentary. So as long as you can find your charm and most of your beads, I will guarantee you all my work and repair anything you break for free. Wow. Because sometimes awesome. we get excited. and <laughs> <Yes. laughs> we get and caught they, in our sweater when yeah, we're trying to get undressed. And they pop, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming today. Thank you, Jill. And sharing your beautiful knowledge. And, of course, if you want to know more about the stones, you can visit Cheryl's website. She's got tons of information there. Um, you can purchase these bracelets there on her website. Um, www.fybbracelets.com And... For the month of October, if you buy all three, you buy your sun, your moon, and your rising for the month of October, I will give you a free 15-minute astrology reading um, if you get the whole stack. So um, just reach out to Cheryl um, when you make the purchase, and then she can get the birth data to me, and we'll do a quick zoomy zoom, and I'll tell you what I see uh, coming up in your chart. Excellent. All right, all right. Thanks for having me, Jill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Cheryl. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye.